until there are five remaining, and those five will be the only contenders for a medal. The winner of last year's, or the rather the, the silver medalist of last year's world championship, was Frappiana Arias, the brilliant Colombian who's already been to the podium three times in four previous events here at the World Games. That final featured the likes of Maraka Toom, who is here. Demos Albu is here. Sandrine Tass, who's had such a wonderful World Games. Li, Chinese Taipei. And seen the Spaniard. Translavina Lopez of Chile, who picked up that wonderful bronze medal in the 1,000 meter sprint. And the feeling is that uh, Arias will be the one to beat. Three poles taking their place in this race as well. This was won four years ago in the last World Games by the American Annette Heywood. And it's the Spaniard and seen leading them around. Time's utterly irrelevant. But listen out when you hear the bell. That's when these skaters go to red alert. Because if you are the last to cross the line, out comes the hook. You get fished off the track. Your race is run. So right now it's just a case of watch your position, keep an eye on everyone that's around you. It's a strange race in many ways, so tactical. It's steady and sedate, punctuated by a sudden burst of action. And a frantic scramble to avoid being the last one in the line. Giulia Bonecchi, one of two Italians in this race, along with Giulia Lola Brigida, group of Spaniards. Major Ancin is here. Rainy Pajaro of Colombia, joining her compatriot, Fabiana Arias, the red hot favourite. Erin Jackson, the American, in this lineup as well. There she is in the red, white, and blue of the United States. Not really her discipline, it has to be said. And two Belgians. Red hot right now, Sandrine Tass. Three medals for her in four events. Patriot Anka Voss. Letizia Schimek of Germany could be a contender as well. And Mareike Thum looking to make up for some personal disappointment. Currently in second place there, the German. And now with Sandrine Tass stepping up the pace. Now the wrong place to be, of course, is right at the back. The one advantage of being at the back is you can see what's going on in front of you, but that's the only advantage. You don't want to be there when things start happening. So still, it's the phony war. Now the two Italians have dropped all the way down the field to the back. Working with intent and on the back there as well is Fabriana Arias. I think she was staying there now. That's uh, the other Colombian. That's just uh, withdrawn by the look of it. Pajaro, Haini Camilla Pajaro, who won the 300 meter time trial and really looked good doing so, but has contributed very little since. And her race is over. So it's Jackson uh, peeling off the lead now. And still, it's steady as they go. That's the watchword for these skaters. They're taking their time. Continues to change with Yang. Really good to see Yang Ho Chen back in action after picking up that bronze medal in the 10,000 meter points elimination and then taking the hospital after a crash as a precaution. He obviously is absolutely fine, which is wonderful to see. And they're all taking their turns, putting in a shift at the head of the peloton. 
Two Belgians tucked in behind the French leader who now peels off her job done and Tass leads Boss. Benoist Albu is tucked in behind. As Juliette Poudiba drops back after her spell as the pace setter. And then just slips in to the back of the peloton. Tass now peels off. Let's see if there's a gap in the peloton. She'll happily jump in at the back. And she won't be too unhappy to be there, Sandrine Tass. We've already seen many times in the uh, speed skating at the World Games that she has a terrific burst of pace. That should get her out of any trouble. She's not the sort to be uh, caught out of the back, but you can see how comfortable it is at the back. You're sitting in the slipstream, you just don't have to do any work. Kavos joining her there as well. And now, it looks like it's going to be right to Ancine. There's that Shayla Posada. Ancine it is. Uh, everybody taking their turn, doing their bit. We can all help each other stay fresh. Uh, a couple of poles at the head of the pack here. That's why this crowd is so happy. Alexandra Goss leading the way and dropping out, and Sonia Gap will take over now. It was great excitement whenever the uh, Polish skaters threatened to do anything. It's been a case of gaining valuable experience at the highest level, really, for these Polish skaters. They've been busy, they've competed in everything without ever threatening to be on the podium but nevertheless they're learning a lot about what it takes to operate at the very highest level and pretty soon we'll be seeing Alejandra Translavina Lopez hit the front she's due up next but they will start to wind it up so we have the early dropout for Haro Rather mystifyingly, she wasn't eliminated, she just dropped out the Colombian. And that has whittled the field down. Long, long, long way to go yet, of course. So how long will Sonia Gak decide that she wants to stay at the head of affairs? Up to her, of course. You can just peel off the front there any time she likes. And uh, and the baton over to Traslavina Lopez. Uh, she's quite happy front running here, the pole. And we have a pole at the front, we have a pole at the back. And 13 skaters sandwiched in between those two. Now, Gak has decided she's done enough. Traslavina Lopez, the 1,000 meter bronze medalist, will put in some work just behind her, Fabriana Arias, the expected gold medalist here, Marika Thun, tucked in just behind her, one of the final five in the world championship a year ago, Thun. Uh, she's had one or two things to deal with during these world games least to the fact of disqualification that cost her a bronze medal when she had that collision with Yang and she was really visibly upset after that we thought at the time it was just disappointment of losing out on the medal far from it Yang had had to go to hospital and uh, there is absolutely no malice between any of these athletes at all it really is a, a band of brothers and sisters in this business and two was just upset and concerned neither of them skated in the thousand meters but good to see both of them are here in the 15,000 meter elimination race and if she's on her game Marika Toon who just peels off the lead there is definitely capable of being a medal contender now the two Italians are back at the head of affairs 
Bonecki and Julia Lollobrigida. Bonecki, a gold medalist on the 500 meters. That memorable skate. And she led from start to finish in the quarterfinals, the semifinals, and indeed the final. Both the Italians peeling off. Bonecki not taking a turn at the front. So, Erin Jackson, the 500 meter specialist, will take over the American, the 24 year old from Florida, engineering graduate. Very capable skating. So, a whole bunch of world championship medals to her name over the last few years. There is only one thing these skaters really don't like, and that is athletes who don't put in their shift at the head of the pack. All these skaters seem to be happy to do just that. Uh, the two Taipei athletes now, Chinese Taipei athletes, check out together, just as the Italians did. That's Juliette Puy-de-Bas. Who we haven't seen a lot of in the World Games. She's done her bit, and it's the Belgian one too now. Tass, followed by Voss. Voss just missing out on a medal in the points elimination, or rather in the 1,000 meter sprint. Coming in fourth there, behind compatriot Tass, Tass letting that one go, and now Voss will be followed by the second French woman, Clémence Albu, Albu, the victim of a very unfortunate crash a while ago in the 300 meter time trial, he was uh, taken down as, uh, I think it was Jackson, lost her way a little bit, lost control, crashed and unfortunately took out Albu, who was in the lead here, she had a heavy fall, smashed into the per perspex, you feared the worst for her, took a few minutes before she was uh, able to recover from being dazed, but she's obviously perfectly alright now, which is also good to see so Albu checks out and Seen now hits the front and we continue to count down the laps Nobody, of course, as we get close to halfway, and we're not even there yet. Nobody's going to put in a, a fast burst to try and break the peloton up. Not this early, that would be madness. The pack would hunt you down. Well, it wouldn't be surprised. It wouldn't be a surprise later on if there were to be some kind of breakaway. So we continue to tick on down to when the eliminations will begin. So Yagak is uh, back at the head of affairs. Nice steady pace. The key for all of these athletes at the moment, conserve energy. Look at the skaters at the back there. This is nothing more than a warm-up exercise for them. Hands behind the backs, pretty much upright. Just literally coasting along in the slipstream. Well, of the four gold medals that have been disposed of so far two for Colombia one for Italy one for Belgium where is this fifth and last women's track speed skating gold medal gonna go it could end up round the neck of the woman in the lead here the silver medalist in this event at the world championship last year Arias beats her shift and Toom is back in front well they've 
glided their way through the first eight kilometers. And all of them will be very aware of what is to come. Things will start exploding into life pretty soon. Now we've seen the two Italian skaters hit the front and then both peel off together as Lola Brigida leading the way followed by Vanecki and once again Vanecki showing no interest in hitting the front on her own which is unusual because if you saw her races earlier particularly in those 500 meter sprints she is a very happy front runner this of course having a completely different discipline so now it's Lee leading Yang like the Italians they continue just to work together the two Chinese Taipei skaters so Juliette Guideba will do her work the two French skaters not working as a partnership Guideba and Albu their choice of course they are separated by the two Belgians Countdown continues, 30 laps to go. And we are through nine kilometers. Both the Belgians check out. That leaves Albu in first place. And you just get the sense they're all starting to get a little bit itchy around the trigger finger here it's just a question of when does somebody decide it's time to make a move well that will happen of course when we hear the bell well, it was just a moment there it looked like everybody was just glancing around right who's where who do i have to watch what do i have to do go the two poles after Anchin Ansin does her job. Alexandra Goss leading Sonia Ga. Now coming up to 10 kilometers. The sense of anticipation continues to build. It's Anseen at the back as we get to 10,000 in this 15,000 meter elimination race. They will start picking them off and they will start dropping very quickly as this field will get whittled down in what will become an exercise in survival. All you've got to do to be in with a chance of a medal is make sure you are not in last place at the elimination point. If you are, off you go. The rest go on. Now things starting to pick up. Here we go. Here we go. Now let's see what happens. This is where things get interesting. It's a mad scramble now. And I think it's one of the poles that's near the back. Now, who's going to get pulled out of this one? Well, it's the two Belgians leading the way around. Tass and Voss. Now an attack coming from the outside. One of the Chinese Taipei skaters. I think that was Li Ming Chu stepping in. Now one of the poles, and there is the bell. Now that's where you panic if you are at the back here, as the other pole is. 
Well, Gak has really got to get her skates on, if you'll excuse the pun, and it looks like she's left it too late. The others are all away and clear. Gak has really got to push on hard here, and I don't think the others are going to let her in. No, they're not. So, she's gone. And the others can take a breather, briefly, because now it's pretty intense and it's very full on. There's another bell. No chance of a breather now. This is why they conserve their energy. This is why they just pace themselves through those first 10 kilometers. Erin Jackson, one of the back markers. Uh, she managed to get herself out of trouble. The American has, think, has, has she done it? That really is very, very close as they continue just to push on. There's the bell again. So Voss leading Lola Bridget up. Now we're coming up for another bit of bad news for one of these skaters. Who's it going to be next? Gak has gone. Bonecki has gone. There's the bell again. A little bit of pushing and shoving going on. If you're at the front, you're probably okay. That's uh, a good place to be right now for Goss, who is putting in a really good shift. Long way to go, of course. One of the Belgians back there, I think that is... Uh, it's, uh, it could well be one of the Belgians that's in trouble here. Anker Voss. And Sandrine Tass. And it's Jackson that went. And I think Ancine has gone as well. The Belgian, uh, the uh, Spaniards are the two Belgians at the back. Cutting it pretty fine. Yep, Ancine has gone. So now they are continuing to whittle the field down. And still the Belgians sit at the back. They are cutting it fine. Pudiba is at the right end of things. Toom is in there. Arias is in there. Oh, who's going to go next? That's bad news for Clémence Albu. Her number's been called as well. You know, the other French woman is saying, well, I'm going to stay right here. This is, uh, this is where it's safe. Yeah, they really are starting to pour it on a little bit here. And it's disappointment for the Polish contingent. I think they got Alexandra Goss there. Well, that's how, that's how you feel when you've been eliminated. And talking of elimination, out goes Anka Voss. Well, she never looked comfortable when the heat really started to uh, get turned up. Pudiba is still there. She's skating really well. Marika Toom is in there. Lopez is in there. Arias, of course, is in there. So too Sandrine Tass. So we are getting the usual suspects. And one or two surprises still in there. That was Julia Lola Brigida. She's gone. Yang is still there, out of hospital, and fighting for another medal. So Lola Brigida gone, there's confirmation. Amazingly, Alexandra Goss, the pole, is still in with this group. This is a terrific skate to make the last nine for her. But it's Arias, Toom, Lee... Lopez and Tass, who of course is in such good form, it would be no surprise if those are the final five here. Now, uh, Alexandra Goss has finally gone. Her race is over, but that really was a big effort there from the pole. That was terrific. Uh, 
And then there were seven. That wasn't a bad effort at all from Goss. She went a lot further than many would have expected. Now the Chilean has gone. Traslavina Lopez is out. She will not be adding to her bronze medal from the 1,000 metres. And we really are down to serious business now. Only six left. There will be one more to go. Arias is there. Pudiba is having a terrific race. Marika Tum is in there as well. So too is Yang. What a story that would be. Lee from Chinese Taipei as well. And Sandrine Tass. So two Chinese Taipei skaters. Pudiba has gone. We are down to the final five. And it's all about who can hit the front. And it's Sandrine Tass and Fabriana Arias. And they've taken Marika Tum with them as well. That's the one, two, three. It's been all about the Colombian and the Belgian. Can Toom get in amongst them as well? This looks like where the medals are going. The two Chinese Taipei skaters are out of it. They hit the bell. It's a big lead for Arias. Tass is trying to hunt her down. Toom doesn't seem to have an extra gear at this point. Coming in off this last bend. It's going to be the big two once again. It's the big attack on the inside from the Belgian. But I think Arias has just held on. My goodness me, how close was that? Officially, they're going to have to another look, have another look at that, of course. My feeling was that at the stretch, at the line, Arias had done just about enough. But it's the same old story again. Fabriana Arias and Sandrine Tass are just cleaning up medal after medal. They've done it again. Good to see Marika Toom get a third-place finish as well after all that she's had to go through. It's so close. It's so close. One wheel, no more than that, if that, between first and second.